A baby is shaken to death in Buffalo. Two years later, no one is charged. Police say only two adults were home at the time. And News 4's Lou Raguse has been digging for answers and brings us this story tonight. On November 10th, 2012, inside this house on Heath Street in Buffalo, police say seven-week-old Michael Clifford Jr. sustained the injuries that would take his life. According to the autopsy report, both legs broken, several ribs broken, and inside his head, several brain bleeds in a hemorrhaged optic nerve, what police call a classic case of shaken baby syndrome. The baby looked like, like he wasn't breathing for a while already. Next door neighbor Carlos Majolo answered his door that morning to Siobhan Thomas, the baby's mother, asking him for help. I let him on the couch, started giving mouth to mouth while they were talking to 911. But um, I think it was too late at that time. Little Michael died at Women and Children's Hospital. His death was ruled a homicide. Buffalo police say only two adults were home when Michael was assaulted. His parents, Michael Clifford Sr. and Siobhan Thomas. Their neighbor says the parents told him the baby simply woke up that way. They didn't tell you that someone hurt the baby? No. They just no. said that they woke up and the baby was crying? Yeah, they had no idea what was going on with the baby and something made him stop breathing or something and after a little while after that they brought her over here. Police say when they tried to question the parents, both of them lawyered up. Neither would help police. When I knocked, Michael and Siobhan came to the door but wouldn't explain what happened. Why don't you give them a statement? I have given them a statement. So what happened? All right, see you later. And to this day, no one has been charged in the baby's death. Erie Most County District Attorney Frank Sedita declined an interview, so we showed the autopsy report to former DA Frank Clark. Is this something that a baby could just wake up with these injuries? No. Clark says the injuries reflect a typical shaken baby case, but he calls one other thing on the report disturbing. Healing fractures in the baby's ribs, meaning prior injuries. But when you see multiple healing fractures, uh, that to me signifies abuse. That said, Clark says he understands if the parents won't cooperate why no one's been charged. The DA can't just charge them both. You have to show who did it. And if there are only two people in the house and there is no other evidence to point um, definitively to one or the other, you're stuck. There's nothing going on in criminal court, but there is in family court. CPS took Michael and Siobhan's other child, a young girl, and placed her in the custody of Michael's parents, Doug and Lynn Clifford. And they're hoping the judge doesn't place the little girl back in the home where baby Michael was killed. The Cliffords decline an interview at the advice of their lawyer since the family court case is pending. But their friends tell me they're hoping to one day see justice for baby Michael. And one more thing worth mentioning tonight, when baby Michael died, he actually saved lives as an organ donor. And Lou, did the parents ever give a reason for the baby's injuries? Yes. In fact, a source close to the investigation told me that at first, the mother, Siobhan Thomas, who's now Siobhan Clifford, blamed their three-year-old girl for playing too rough with the baby. If anyone ever is charged in this case, I'll be the first one to bring an update. Okay, Lou.